Sanmanani Dumalang Sinchao. My name is Judicious Masogu and welcome to Navigating the Streets of Life with Judy. So today I'm coming to you with an updated uh, information regarding teaching in Uzbekistan. First of all, I would like to say that I am not working with the agency. I do not have their phone numbers. We were solely communicating via email. If they are not responding to the email, I kindly request that you be patient with them and they will respond eventually because that's where we were communicating. And then number two, I receive a lot of inquiries regarding uh, the teaching post in Uzbekistan. So I want to break the information uh, into simple chunks for you. I am going to cover application process, requirements, benefits, and answer some questions that I have received uh, on Instagram and Facebook. So now let me start with the application process. There's no website that you need to uh, send your application to. You just send your application via email. I will put the email down below, but it is recruitment at... Uh, okay, no, it's fine. So, number one, let's start with the application process. You don't have to go to a certain website to send out your application you just send them an email i will put the email down below and then you send an email to say that you are interested <laughs> to say that you are interested uh, in teaching with them and then you attach all the uh, documents that you have uh, documents that support your application so now let's come to the requirements according to this that I have received dear candidate the Ministry of preschool and school education of the Republic of Uzbekistan invites application for an English language teaching position the successful candidate the successful applicants will teach a diverse range of students secondary high school students in public schools now uh, the location the Republic of Uzbekistan starting date is for September 2023 and then it ends 20 May 2024 full-time it's a full-time position and the responsibilities okay i will leave the responsibilities uh, qualifications you need to have a bachelor's master's bachelor's or master's degree and a tesol tesol or a b a, 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 a bachelor degree in linguistics and applied linguistics or related field so they are not specific here to say whether they do accept people with uh, qualifications from other fields but I guess if you are from an English native speaking country you have a degree in any field and you have a TESOL or TEFL they will consider you and then they say minimum two years of experience two years of teaching experience and experience of living teaching abroad is highly desirable that means it's not mandatory they desire someone who's got an international experience okay now someone will ask judy what are the benefits so the benefits according to this um it's round trip a ticket for economy class so you will get your, your your ticket allowance which is round trip from and to, from and to your home country 
and then accommodation you are given an apartment accommodation and then assistance and payment for visa application they take care of the visa application and then standard package of medical insurance you will also get medical insurance and yeah you send your application to recruitment at uzedu.uz but i will write it down for you those are the requirements and the benefits now let's come to the questions that uh, the people who reach out to me are asking hi judy can also ask the ones that have been accepted in uzbekistan regarding chronic illness is it possible to get in do they hire them so i guess the person is asking whether they do accept candidates with chronic illnesses okay now to answer this i will uh, the ministry of education will require your 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 medical information this happens after you have completed your your, your application and have passed the interview so they will require medical information now these are the medical conditions that they want to know about so it's a yes or no questions asthma blood pressure allergies thyroid hiv and then for hiv they say provide valid medical report and then syphilis provide medical report for hiv and syphilis they want a medical report but then for the others jaundice chronic cough heart disease ear nose or throat eye problem frequent severe headaches or migraine sexual transmitted disease if any specify and then dizziness tuberculosis stomach liver trouble recurrent back pain tumor growth cyst cancer rupture kidney blood problems intestinal problem anemia blood disorder gallbladder abnormal chest x-ray epilepsy or fits anxiety eating disorder sleeping disorder do you smoke excessive use of alcohol skin diseases so they do want to know whether you are uh, you have this uh, medical conditions and i don't know whether they affect your application or not but they do want to know and then let's move to another question hi judy i got a notification from your youtube channel and i watched your video about teaching english in uzbekistan i did not watch the video that you said you deleted because you were told by the minister of education to do so i am interested in applying for english teacher job in uzbekistan today please kindly guide okay i've already uh, mentioned what you need to do to send out your application let's move on hi judy i would like to request the link you mentioned on your youtube channel in order to read more about and to apply for teaching jobs in uzbekistan please okay so you send your application to the provided email and also on the description box of the previous video i will try and see if i can put here uh, there's all the information all right and then now hello judy i hope you are well i'm Shobi from eswatini and i've been watching your videos recently and got fascinated kindly assist me with the uzbekistan link i want to try my like okay for those who want to try their like uh, their luck uh, you send your application to the email this one is long okay 
I just saw your video on teaching in Uzbekistan. Thank you for the video, but I have few questions. I'm in English. Okay. Also in applying apart from okay. At the moment I'm not quite sure whether they take they do take people from non English native speakers, non English native speakers countries. I'm not sure whether they take them. But I would advise that you reach out to them you give them uh, all the information you think it's going to help your experience your your qualifications and also your expertise and accolades you know and tell them that you are interested in teaching there and hear from them what they are going to say and yeah we are the young I think that's that, that's about it you guys and I wish all the best. Oh, another thing, uh, the people there are many people who are already in. I am happy that people are getting employed and there are a few people who suggested that I open a WhatsApp group for the people who are going to Uzbekistan. So if you are one of the people who secured a job or you are preparing to apply and secure a job in uzbekistan kindly send me your number on instagram so that i can i can add you on the group i prefer instagram you guys facebook your message might get lost because oh i recently uh, confirmed all the friend, friend requests my goodness the messages i get some they send their private parts some they... <sighs> so instagram please <laughs> bye